Welcome back, folks. Today, we're going to take a look at how Canva can create children's animated videos. So before we get started into our video, I just want to ask you that if you learn anything in this tutorial, press that like button, subscribe and turn that notification bell on. All right, so um, let's continue on. Now, we can definitely go into Canva and use an option called Magic Write. So whenever you have text on your workspace, you can click up here and you can have uh, Canva uh, AI chatbot help you create a storyline. But today I'm not going to use that. So what I am going to do is I'm going to uh, bring up chat GPT to help me create a storyline to help me create the prompts for each of my slides. Now, the one thing that you need to know is that the uh, AI videos are generated from the home screen. If we click on Canva AI, one of the options is to create a video clip. And that's what we're going to do once we have a storyline and the prompts. Now, the other thing that you need to know if you're creating video clips is that you only have five credits. That means that you only have five attempts at creating videos. Uh, so it's not very much. It does renew every month, but five credits isn't very much. So you need to make it count. I also should mention that it is a Canva Pro feature. And if you want to try Canva Pro for 30 days free, you'll find my affiliate link in the description of this video. All right, so I've got ChatGPT here, and I'm going to start off by just telling uh, uh, chat GPT what we're doing today. All right, so I've written here in here the instructions for chat GPT to help me write a story. So I'm, I'm writing this tab is about helping me write a short story for a children's animated video. Each slide is a maximum of eight seconds. The story should have the following characters, a horse, a duck, and a goat. Help me write a story with five scenes, including dialogue. Also include a prompt that I would use to generate an AI video for each scene. The only other thing I'm going to add is um, to make sure that the characters are consistent in each scene. So I'll uh, in here, I'll even say a brown horse, a white duck and a gray goat. So let's see what it comes up with for us. So here we go. I mean, it's it's provided us with five scenes, um, including a title. So, and the dialogue. So here's the dialogue for the horse, the duck, the goat, and it goes on to give us five scenes. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to come back up. So I'm going to move this aside. Let's go over to Canva AI. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to our first scene and I'm going to copy and paste the prompt. And I'm going to copy and paste the dialogue as well. And once you're happy with your prompt, you can come on over here to the purple button and you can click that purple button. Now that will take a few minutes for it to generate that video. All right, so here it is. Let's play and see what it sounds like. Want to race to the big oak tree? Quack! Meh! I'm ready! And 
And not exactly what we were expecting. We did expect the goat to say, meh, I'm ready, but it seems like the duck did that. But that's okay. Let's move on to our second prompt. And this time I'm gonna I'm going to actually say what the dialogue is in the prompt. And I'll press the purple button to see what it comes up with next. And remember, this is our second scene. Okay, and here is the second video. And let's see what that looks like. On your marks, get set. Go! All right, again, not what I expected with the duck and the goat going backwards and then forwards, but it is cute nevertheless. And you would just keep going with the prompts until you've um, created uh, all of your story. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick so that we can put this whole video together in Canva. And let's see what that sounds like. And let's see what that sounds like. Watch my gallop. Flop, flop, I'm flying low. I can jump so high. Again, not so much was that what I was expecting, but hey, you know what? This is fun. And now for scene four. All right, here is scene four. Let's see how this sounds. We made it. Crack, that was fun. Let's do it again. So that was pretty good. Now let me key in the final prompt. And this is going to be our final scene. So while we're waiting for that to generate our final video scene, I just want to say that how much I like the fact that all the scenes here are in the left panel. That makes it easy for us to download each scene or use it in Canva. So I really am liking that a lot. But what do you think of the fact that there are only five credits? Is that enough? I don't think that that is enough because uh, some of these scenes aren't really being created the way I expected them to be created. So it would be nice to have more than just five credits just in case uh, AI gets it wrong, at least you can rerun the script, make some uh, a little bit of adjustments, and then uh, get it to regenerate that video for you. So I want to hear your feedback. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'm also noticing now that this goat, I don't know how many legs and arms it has, but um, I think it has a couple of legs or arms too many, but i um, not sure if that's going to be a little bit too scary for kids. Um, but here is our final scene. I'm going to click this and play. And Let's rest and eat some grass and splash in the pond. Best day ever. All right. And that was our final scene. Now let's go ahead and put this all together in Canva. So you're going to notice, of course, that we have everything in our side panel here and we can uh, download each scene from here or we can use it in the Canva editor by just clicking the button up here. But if we go back to the home screen, uh, you'll find all of our conversations with the chat bot under Canva AI. These are all our chats and we can quickly go back into that chat 
uh, by just clicking on that chat and uh, clicking on the video and uh, so forth. But we're going to go back to the home screen and we're going to click a YouTube thumbnail. It's the same size as a video. From here, we can actually find those video clips under uploads and under videos. Here they are right here. So I'm going to put them on my workspace one at a time. Now, if we want to see what that looks like all together, we can just come right up here to the preview screen, press that play button. Hi friends! Want to race, race to, to the, the big oak tree? Quack! Meh! I'm ready! On your marks, get set! Go! Watch my gallop. Flap, flap, I'm flying low. I can jump so high. We made it! And that was actually pretty hilarious. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, okay? Now, for some reason, you didn't like the audio and you want to do a voiceover, you could turn on the page thumbnails and then you could actually go to duration. And in the audio tools, you can actually extract the audio. So we can, let's go ahead and do that for slide number five. I'm going to extract the audio. There it is right there. If we wanted to, we could take that audio and we could actually mute it and then do record a voice over. So over here is where you can do the voice over. And if you want to know more about voiceovers, just let me know. I can link another video for you. And so that's pretty much it. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. If you want to learn more about my live classes, ask me in the comments and I'll give you more information. For now, my friends, I'll say bye-bye until next time.